The story of the war in the Pacific is displayed at the USS Arizona Memorial. But now the story of reconciliation between Japan and the U.S. has been expanded to include the story of a remarkable young girl from Japan. KITV 4's Joel Kuramoto reports from Pearl Harbor. Sadako Sasaki was 12 years old when she died from leukemia, a disease she developed from the atomic bomb that was dropped on her hometown of Hiroshima 10 years earlier. The belief in a Japanese legend that folding a thousand paper cranes would heal the sick. The little girl folded more than 1,300 cranes before passing away in 1955. <laughs> One of her cranes, now part of the exhibit at the Pearl Harbor Visitor Center. The origami crane, an international symbol of peace. Say a pray, say a pray, save the souls that have gone. Sadako's family has made it their mission to share the little girl's story in the hopes the tragedies of the past be replaced with world peace. Through this act, Sadako taught us one thing. The first step to achieve peace in our own hearts is to have compassion. USS Arizona survivor Lauren Bruner welcomed the gift. Left up to ordinary people like uh, Sadakis and myself, that war, as we know, it would never have uh, taken place. This is the third of Sadako's final cranes to be on display. The other is at the World Trade Center's Visitor Center, and the other at the Austrian Study Center for Peace. She's going through radiation, treat, you know, radiation diseases and whatnot, and she's still able to manipulate the paper or the material to fold that small of a crane so intricately. It's amazing. At Pearl Harbor, Jill Kuramoto, KITV 4 News.